Hello, excellent people. I've got a little make-along video uh, for you today where I'm making a mixed media wand. So I started off with a stick that had blown down in the recent storms and I drilled a little hole near the tip because I wanted to attach uh, this little crystal point and I wanted to use wire rather than glue because I never trust a glue attachment. So I wanted to use the wire uh, which I would then cover with polymer clay to make a good strong connection. Then I took a piece of gold covered copper wire, uh, just the length of this, which I wrapped around the crystal point. So I threaded the wire through the hole that I drilled at the end of the stick. So the connection is a little bit wobbly but the primary purpose is to stop it pulling away from the stick and then here I'm using some scrap polymer clay to fill in the gaps between the wire and then once the polymer clay is baked and hardened uh, this should form a nice secure connection between the crystal and the stick. So I'm just using some scrap clay that's a mix of all different colours and I'm going to cover it up with uh, metallic gold clay. I'm just pressing the scrap clay into all the little crevices and under the wire to make sure that it's filling up the space well. So I'm applying a small amount of liquid polymer clay and this is to help the uh, raw clay adhere to the different um, media so it's to help the raw polymer clay stick to the wire and the wood so I, I don't need to add it to the scrap clay because they're both unbaked polymer and they will join together by themselves but where the raw polymer clay is attaching to another material I like to add a small amount of the liquid polymer just to make sure there's a, a good connection there. So I wanted to make the edges a little bit more uneven, so I just cut out a few little chunks randomly at the top and the bottom of the strip that I just added. So I'm just making sure that um, the polymer is 
pressed in nicely all around the wire so that it makes a strong connection and also so that there's no air bubbles because when I bake it, the air, if there's any air bubbles trapped, the air will expand and make um, a bumpy surface, which I don't want. So using the ball tool helps me press the clay in and it also gives it a nice uh, texture. So I just I use the ball tool over the whole surface and these are little uh, tester pieces I made when I was uh, planning my stud earring collection. So they've um, the little discs which I've they're pre-baked um, and I've they got they've each got little textures which I've highlighted with mica powder. So my idea. Uh, is to add these in as little embellishments. I've also got a collection of real stones, but they didn't seem to fit. So I just um, sort of hold the piece up and see if it seems to fit. So I'm auditioning this little piece, um, and I'm because because this piece is going to go off the strip of clay that I've added, I'm going to put another blob of uh, the gold polymer clay directly onto the stick. I'm adding a bit of um, liquid polymer to help it adhere. So that's just a rough bit of the gold polymer clay. And then I'm also putting a little bit of the liquid polymer on the back of the baked disc. So I've already um, added a few of these little discs around the wand and then I decided to do some curl embellishments. So I'm using a contrasting copper coloured metallic clay uh, just to add a bit more colour variation. So I'm starting off by rolling it into a, a thin snake and I want to have a slight point on either end of the, of the little snake. So I'm going to use this to wrap around the, the little discs. Um, so that will sort of help attach them to have something wrapping around the edges. And also it's to add some visual interest. And again here, with these uh, little strips, where they are attaching onto the unbaked polymer, they will adhere as they are because it's two pieces of unbaked polymer. But where the little spiral is attaching to the crystal and the wire, I'm putting a little drop of the liquid polymer just to help that stick. I've added a few more of the spirals and discs around and also some tiny little crystals. Now I'm adding a little bit of mica powder for some highlights. So I just put my finger in there, um, tap off the majority of it, and then just lightly brush here and there. So I'm just highlighting the raised portions and also I'm not making a solid coverage, I'm just um, putting a few random highlights here and there. So I decided to use two shades of um, mica powders, uh, start off with the gold and then I come in with um, a pearl powder later. I'm intending, uh, once I've baked this piece, to come in with some uh, darker acrylic paints. So I'm just 
explaining here. I'm going to paint over it with dark acrylic paint and then wipe off the excess. And then the paint will just be left in the little crevices, which will give it a nice antique look uh, and also highlight the textures. So I'm also planning to bring more of the spirals coming down the stick. I'm going to leave you with a bit of a cliffhanger here because I finished uh, the tip of the wand, but I've not finished the rest of it. So I'm planning to add a handle on the base and also bring the spirals coming round down the stick. Uh, but this is as much as I recorded in my live stream. So you'll have to wait uh, until I've done part two. So thanks for watching and hopefully I will get the rest of this um, wand the wand making project uh, in a video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.